one line of research that I'm interested in is a uh, toxicity that radiation causes, which is lymphopenia that happens after radiation therapy, particularly prolonged courses of radiation over a course of uh, three to five weeks of radiation therapy. Uh, patients uh, develop uh, profound lymphopenia, and the reason why uh, is because lymphocytes that circulating in the blood are very sensitive to radiation therapy. Um, and so, and that actually causes problems because lymphocytes are the main effector cells that kills cancer uh, even after radiation. And so causing depletion of that and actually potentially can compromise the effectiveness mm. of radiation therapy. Uh, and particularly also nowadays, uh, we are thinking about incorporating immunotherapies with radiation therapy. Uh, getting rid of lymphocytes obviously is not gonna be uh, good uh, in combination with radiation. So then, um, so I'm very interested in understanding better how radiation therapy induced lymphopenia happens and then how to reverse it. Uh, so that's one of my line research uh, that we're doing, uh, identifying uh, ways to mitigate this, uh, this effect, this, uh, this, this toxicity of radiation therapy. Okay. I think uh, I think one of the reasons why we're at the forefront actually is because uh, we are a um, we are, we have very large volumes of uh, cancer patients, and of course that's over over a course of time. I mean, as, as our center became larger and larger, uh, we have more and more patient volume, and I think uh, because we have a lot of patients from diverse type of diseases, um, our clinical volume is so large that we can actually do a lot of research. And each of our patients is a research subject as well. Mm -hmm. So not only are we delivering the most uh, precise and effective therapies possible for our patients, but then also we are trying to make advances in, in each of our patients as well, trying to uh, not only just do the status quo and the standard of care therapy, but more importantly is how to make advances, how to further make improvement in, on the current standard of care. And therefore, and because we have the volume of patients, we, can, we have uh, many of our investigators and many clinicians are very much focused on research. Uh, so not only there are many clinicians, but every clinician is very much dedicated and committed towards uh, research to make advances in the cancer field. Um, and I think that's precisely the reason why we are at the forefront uh, is because not only clinicians are very much invested, but the hospital and the institution is very much committed and invested into making advances. And so we are very collaborative in, in the team effort. So it's not just one, patient, one person, but rather we are very multidisciplinary in collaboration with our biologist, with our physicist, with our, uh, our radiologist, our pathologist, all collaborating on, on the same mission, which is to uh, make uh, really try to, what well, our model is to end cancer uh, and, and to trying to make advances in our, uh, for, through our research that we're doing.